Hello everyone, this is Amir again from simpletech.ca and I'm continuing on with the series for Basic Word Office 2003 and I'm not going to do any review right now, I'm just going to get to what we need to do. So let's look at a few things that we can do in Microsoft Word. Uh, I'm just going to delete this, I had done this earlier, so let me just delete that. I want to show how you to do that. Uh, the first thing I'll show you is how to insert dates on your pages automatically. So you look for the word insert on the menu bar and then you click on date and time. Pick any of the dates you like, the way you want your dates to show up. And then there is this option up here that says update automatically. When you check mark it, it will automatically update the date every time you open this file. So it's a really good thing if you need to send out cover letters and things like that. This will make sure that you have the current date click OK it adds the date and again if you look at it it's a logical idea right insert and then you're looking for the word you can also insert page numbers so I'm just going to click on it you can choose whether you want the page numbers on the bottom or the t on the top usually it's on the footer where do you want it on the right hand side left hand side uh, you can check mark here if you want to show the page number on first page. I'm going to check mark it because I only have one page right now. And you can also go to the format and choose the kind of numbering you want to use, ABC or different types. And I'm going to click OK. So now if I come to the bottom, there is my number, page number. The other thing you can do is you can add headers and footers. Now for whatever reason this is where it's kind of illogical to me. Instead of adding it to insert header and footer, it's under view header and footer. I don't know why. Now what are headers and footers? Let me show you the print preview, this button right here. The header shows up on the top. You see where the margin is? That is where the header shows up. It's not really a good thing when you only have one page, but it's a good thing when you have more than one page. So on the second page, you can have a header. Like for example, you have a two-page resume. The first page already has your name and number. It'll be nice if you can have your name and number on the second page so that people know that this second page belongs to this first page and part of your resume. I'm just going to hit close. I'm going to go to view, header, and footer. And right there, I can type something, anything I want. I'm just going to write te test. And then if I hit the tab key, it comes to the middle, the cursor. And if I hit tab again, it goes to the end. I can even insert a page number here if I want. So it's up to me. There are a couple of things I can add. So I can click here, and it's got a number there. Now remember, if you are in view normal, you don't see the header and footer. If you are in view print layout, you see the header and footer. You just double click it and now you can edit it. Close or you can go to view, header and footer. So we looked at inserting page numbers and date and time. I'm just going to show you how to insert symbols. I'm just going to write my website address simpletech.ca and I'm going to go to insert symbol. Symbols are like these type of characters which cannot be typed by our keyboard like trademark, copyright, registered. So if I want I can click the C for copyright and I click insert. That's it. I hit close and right there the symbol is added. Make sure that your cursor is in the right place because if the cursor is up here the copyright symbol will go there rather than being up here. You can also insert pages. So for example, I want to add a page before this page. So I click my cursor right in front on top of the page. I go insert, break, and I can click on next page. So now I've got this page is up here and there is that page up there. And you see it automatically says page one, which is empty. And there is page two, which has information. If I want to put a page after this one, I click at the end of the information, insert, break, next page. Okay, so now I have three pages. I'll go to print preview. It's not showing me all the pages, 
but if I click on this button up here and I can choose multiple pages so I see all my three pages the middle page has the information the other pages don't click close or you can hit escape on the keyboard does the same thing so all of that stuff a lot of the stuff is under insert so like you know the word itself insert break insert page number insert date and time and there is a lot of stuff that you can do and I'm going to show you a few things afterwards uh, maybe in the next video maybe I'll get a chance I'll put it in this video itself the next thing I want to show you is what is a very important tool in Microsoft Word uh, because of them I think my spelling has gotten really bad over the years it's called the spelling and grammar check which is this button right here it's got an ABC button with a check mark and you point to it it says spelling and grammar I think it's under tools and then spelling and grammar but they have a shortcut so I'll just click on the ABC button it opens up this window and I just purposely misspelled the word Toronto so it says recognizing that that's an error and it's giving me a suggestion on the bottom so I click there and I can click change there is also this option up here where it says language I can click here and I can look for English Canada because there are some words which are spelled differently in Canada like in many parts of the world where it is British English color is C-O-L-O-U-R and in the US it is C-O-L-O-R so I can just change it to that so now I'm just gonna click Canada and I'm gonna click change so that the word is change sorry Toronto in that case up here I'm gonna choose Canada because I misspelled it again it shows up in red click change now it's giving me a suggestion here regarding the use of a semicolon you see I've used a comma here it's asking me do you want to use a semicolon I could choose to change depending on if I feel it's right or I can say ignore so it doesn't matter in this case and it's done so that is spelling check it is really important that every time you do your type your document you do a spelling check and you'll find that it automatically shows up uh, I just wanted to make some mistakes here uh, I'm gonna make it again let's see I'm gonna make the mistake with Toronto again so you see when it's with Toronto it's got a line underneath it if I want I can just right click on it make sure you right click right on the word and you see it's giving me the option there so I can just choose Toronto let me show you some more features of right clicking if I select some things for example this and I right click right on it make sure that you right click on it like the mouse says left and a right click use the right now you see it gives you option relating to that selection you can change the font remember this window I can change stuff right click again you can go to paragraph I can make it double spacing if I want it just gonna hit cancel right now right click I can go to bullets and numbering right click and remember when you're doing the selection you have to do the left so you just cannot do a right click on it you can also do copy cut and paste so if I want I can hit copy click here I can right click right there paste so I've just copied it from here and here for now if I want I can just go ahead and hit the undo button and it has been removed so in today's video I've shown you how to insert, break, page numbers, date and time, and symbol. The break will add the page. We also looked at spell check, and we looked at the benefit of using right click. Thank you for watching. In the next video, most probably I'm going to get to, I thought I was going to do it in this video, but in the next one, I'll be doing something with pictures and clip art and borders and shading. Thank you for watching. Have a good time.